Hello, this is HT Wingnut, and uh, today I bring you, courtesy of LPC Digital, the uh, Sager NP9758G, based on the Clevo P750DMG, uh, and the G stands for G-Sync, but it's basically a refresh of uh, last uh, year's model um, with the uh, desktop CPU in it. This time it's revised with the, uh, the Skylake um, i7-6700K, um, quad core desktop CPU. It's got the GTX 980M with 8 gigs of GDDR5. Um, it's got a 15.6 inch 4K display and uh, it's a Samsung um, matte uh, 4K and G-Sync capable of course and it uh, also has actually it has 16 gigabyte DDR4 2133 MHz modules in here. It has four of them. So a total of 64 gigabytes of fast DDR4 RAM. Um, and we'll take a look at that in detail later. But it also comes with a 512 gigabyte uh, Samsung SM951 M2 SSD and a 1 terabyte uh, uh, 7200 RPM hard drive. It also comes with Windows 10 in this version. Um, and uh, also we'll be looking at a couple of uh, wireless modules, the new Intel dual band uh, wireless AC8260 M2 uh, module as well as the uh, Killer1525, the tried and true version. And uh, also, now let's take a look at the part. I want to show you a couple things as well that comes with it, which is pretty nice. Um, this particular one comes with a, a USB drive, a recovery drive, to recover um, basically uh, the OS. So I'm going to give that a shot too. I, I, I don't think Sager's off of this in the past. A uh, nice option to have. I always wish other manufacturers would do that. But uh, in any case, that's, that's something so you can restore your system off the USB drive. Um, and it comes with other things like, you know, uh, well there's a, a killer wireless I was going to look at. The uh, hard drive adapter bracket some screws, some uh, offset uh, foam blocks um, in case you have a 7 mil uh, SSD it allows you to use it with 9.5 mil. This can accommodate two 9.5 mil drives as well as two uh, M2 SSDs. And then of course your owner's manual they even give you some extra thermal paste um, and driver's manual or driver's uh, disc which you shouldn't need. It's all available on Clevo's and Sager's website. Now that being said, let's take a look at this. Um, first time I'm really even looking at this closely, so but it should be identical to the P750 uh, ZMG, coin the Batman, as many of you know. Um, but same ports. It's got the uh, USB 3.0, all your audio ports there. Um, the lock on the back. It has HDMI. Um, uh, two display port, power port, and then uh, black uh, grills. And on the speaker bar on the other side you have t a uh, Ethernet port, USB 3.0 ports, um, well, USB 3.1 looks like, uh, Thunderbolt, um, and uh, SD card reader and a eSATA USB um, combo port. The front, um, there's nothing really particular except for that light lit up bar there um, that lights up with the keyboard app. And we'll go ahead and open this up. And you can see uh, it's the same uh, keyboard. It's a uh, multicolor backlit keyboard. Um, it's uh, I have a couple screws out of it right now just because I'm going to take this out to show you what's underneath there. But your uh, touchpad, which is a soft touchpad, the surface itself feels kind of uh, s smooth, rubberized surface almost. I don't know if it's rubberized, but it feels very smooth and it's a smooth black finish. Fingerprint reader, touchpad buttons. And then we flip this puppy over. Um, this one, particular model, does not have the Sager logo on it. Typically they do. What you can get at the option with it not on there. 
Then you've got your battery, of course. This just unlocks by unlocking this, then unlocking this, and poof. And the battery itself is 14.8 volts, 82 watt hour. Let's see that, I don't know. Um, and then, uh, oh, speaking of which, power supply comes with a 330 watt, 19 and a half volt um, power supply. Uh, plenty beefy with the uh, four pin plug. And uh, underneath you've got your uh, drive storage here. We can get uh, nine and a half, or two and a half inch, nine and a half mil thick drive here and here, or obviously seven mil thick, which typical SSDs are M2 uh, SATA or uh, M2 uh, PCIe drive it there as well. This one has the PCIe of the uh, Samsung. And then this, after removing these four screws, I've already removed the screws, this pulls off. And here you can see the, uh, this is where the other M2 slot goes. Um, you've got your GTX 980M here, your i7-6700K, yes, desktop processor here, um, quad core, uh, this is a Skylake. It should run uh, cool and uh, pretty pretty good performing as well. Um, you can see the massive amount of cooling here as well to help keep everything temperatures down. And previous performance has shown from the previous models that it does a great job of cooling things off. Um, here's the interesting thing, the uh, Samsung 16 gigabyte um, DDR4 modules and four of them. Um, you can see two here. In order to get the other one out, it's a little bit tricky. Um, there's two screws, one here and one here. You have to remove. So what you need to do that, open up the laptop and then using a fine tip, I use a fine tip Phillips screwdriver, this port right here where it says KB, that's where you push the screwdriver through and it will pop the keyboard out. Be gentle though. So we'll go ahead and uh, let me get this in the camera view. Just kind of do that. There we go. Now you can see. Let's lift up on it gently. Hmm. I've done this before and it worked fine. There we go. And you can see, voila, get a better view. You can see your other two RAM modules there. This is where your uh, wireless card is at. And uh, then obviously you're just your keyboard connectors. So, and uh, oh, this one's particular one has a uh, connector for 3G LTE. Not sure if it's active, but that is an option. So it's not no module in this one. Let's go ahead and detach that. And there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a whirl. And as usual, I'll give it its gamut of benchmarks and performance metrics with temperature and power consumption, etc. I'll put it up against the uh, P770 ZM uh, G that I have currently with the 17 inch version with the 1080p um, G-Sync LCD and just kind of give you a performance co comparison as well as the uh, uh, Hexacore uh, Haswell E CPU I have on my desktop I couldn't tell you I can't remember the uh, i7 name for it right now I apologize I feel stupid but anyways um, it's a Hexacore um, processor that I have on my current desktop with a GTX 980 Ti so we'll kind of get a good balance between your indication of how well this performs with respect to a desktop CPU and a uh, desktop high-end GPU. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will uh, post uh, f benchmarks uh, hopefully in the near future. Thank you.